This is Twit. Android has been a thing for a little more than around nine years now. And can you believe that after all this time, Google finally released an official file management app for the OS? Files Go is almost more of a space savings app than it is a simple file manager. From the main screen, you see front and center the amount of space that you have compared to the total capacity for your device at a glance. Below that metric there are listed a number of swipeable kind of Google Now style cards that illustrate the many ways that you can clean up the files on your device to reclaim some valuable storage. Now, I'm sure you've installed a number of apps fully expecting to use them every single day forever and ever only to let them languish, occupying valuable space on your device. Well, Files Go has this unused apps function that can find apps that you haven't used in a while and monitor those so you can uninstall them and then, of course, reclaim that space. Maybe there's some app crud. That's temporary app files, residue from apps that don't need to be there anymore. Though definitely scour through that list to be sure you aren't ejecting stuff that you might want to keep. Files in your download folder are commonly temporary, so it's easy to blow those out. And as you can see, large files, which in my case is really just a bunch of videos recorded on the device. Now that's awesome right there. I've freed up around 500 megs. Now I can go down to the bottom into the file section to narrow my view to different file types and folders, many of which are the same from the screen we just left, but this allows for more fine-tuned management of my files. Apps, for example, allows me to locate any APK files that might still be sitting on my device somewhere. I can definitely get rid of those. And finally, you'll see down below this cool option to transfer files securely and without internet. Think of this as Android's flavor of AirDrop, the feature on iOS that allows for easy file transfer between devices. You should know that this is only possible if both devices have the Files Go app installed, which means you won't be receiving any unsolicited files from that random person that's nearby. It's a bit more intentional in this case. And once granted permission, I can send and receive a file by connecting directly to a nearby device through the app. It's actually very easy. After a simple confirmation process, the file is then transferred via Bluetooth. It's simple and it's fast. And Files Go is less than 10 megs of space on your device, the actual app itself. How's that for space savings? I'm Jason Howell. Catch me on all about Android covering apps just like this each and every week here on Twit.tv.